should never allow the government to decide what is acceptable speech and what is unacceptable speech. Um, we, should, we should penalize behaviors, not opinions, and not speech. Uh, if you start trying to regulate speech, you start trying to regulate uh, thoughts, you start trying to regulate beliefs rather than behaviors, uh, there's no way that you're not going to abridge the constitutional rights of millions of Americans. أنا عمران دأنيش لقد رأيتني في سيارة الإسعاف في حلب عندما أطاحت الطيارات الجوية بمنزل عائلتي أنا بأمان الآن أردت أن أجيب على تساؤل شخص ما حول مشاعري عن نفسي وعن عائلتي عن طريق قول أنا بخير وأنا أحبك أيضا يا ديفيد مرحبا أنا إمران دقنيش في 2016 رأيتني في سيارة إسعاف لما كان عمري ثلاث سنوات فقط اليوم أنا في السابعة من عمري وأنا بشكل جيد في حلب أختي رؤى وأختي الصغيرة تقي في حالة جيدة أخي عبد الله يبلغ من العمر ثمانية أعوام تقريبا والدي هو محمد خير وهو أيضا بخير ووالدتي أيضا بخير الآن أردنا إخبار كل من صلى من أجلنا شكرا لكم ونحن أيضا نحبكم جميعا He came from Earth. He was only four years old. He was the son of a diplomat. He was a time traveler. And the first ever to visit another world. His name is Jason McRich. He's going where no boy has ever gone before. To a place called Opposite Earth is what? Now on DVD and Blu-ray. Hi, I'm George Lucas. In my past 40 years of motion picture making, no subject has so inspired me as this story that happened in August 2016. The world saw a three-year-old boy on global networks, and it really touched my heart. So much so that I had to tell his story. His name is Amran Daknish. His story is real. It happened. I'm telling this story because millions of other children just like Omran are still being hurt in war-torn countries resulting from neglect, illness, and uncaring masses. We must remember them all. You won't be leaving the movie theater without a tear in your eyes. I hope you'll come. <laughs>
Evet ben baba. Darab. أنا كنت في قلب البيت وجدني الضربة إيش هو مصدرة إيش هو منين إيش هو ما عرفت شغلة تانية أنا طلبت من الإعلاميين اللي كانوا موجودين هنيك والمسلحين يطالعوا آثار البقايا مثلا الصاروخ أو الضربة اللي عم يدعوا أي شيء يطالعوا البقايا مشان أعرف إذا أحكي معهم على أساس نصرح ورفضوا يطالعوا اي شيء بالنسبه يعني الطبعات البيضاء عم يشتغلوا هن مع الصحافه بدرجه الاولى وشغله مهنيه عم يستخدموها منهم بعض منهم بيشتغلوا يعني كعمل انساني وبعض منهم كمهني لاني اليوم الصورة وقت اللي عم صورها في عليها ثمن. اللقطة اللي بتشتغل بالعاطفة على العاطفة هي لها ثمن. في منهم عم يشتغلوا مع بعض بهالامر بين الصحافة وقبعة البيت. حتى لا كان يا عمو. اعطيها لعبودي. اعطيها فضيت انت. زتولا بعمل، زتولا بعمل. نحن بالنسبة وقت اللي اخذوا عمران مشان يأسعفوه، قبل ما يأسعفوه حطوه عم يصوروه. هالصورة ليش؟ هالصورة هي عبارة مشان يتاجروا في دمه انه اللي هو تصوب وهو انضرب واصابته ثقيلة والحمد لله اصابته هو خفيفة يعني هل تجارة بهالامر وبدون ما ياخذوا اذني وبدون ما يقولوا لي وبدون ما يكون لي اي خبر جمالك عمران انا ما جبرت حدا لا يصوره ولا جبرت حدا طلبت منه اي شيء بالنسبه لعمره لا اعلام ولا اشهار ولا اي شيء صوروه خارج ارادتي بالاضافه انا جبته على البيت مشان ما يرجع حدا يصوره وحدا يرجع يتاجر في بدمه بهالامر حلقت له شعره وغيرت له حتى اسمه ومنعته مثل الخروج على الشارع جينا لهون وباركنا والحمد لله ما في اي شيء ولا في اي ازعاج بعدين صار يرجع يطلع على الاعلام يحكوا هذا اللي صوروا وهذا اللي صار يرجع ويحكوا عليه وكأنه هو إلن هذا ابني وأنا بدي بس أنه يحلوا عنه يحلوا عنه ما يعني لا هو فرض لا فرضنا حالنا عليه هون ولا طلبنا منه شيء وفوق منه هلا بعتوا لي تهديدات تهديدات مردودة عليهم لأنه أنا ما عم بعمل شيء غلط أنا ما عم بتأمر على البلد ما عم بقبض دولار مشان أضر بلدي أنا إنسان مواطن سعري بي سعري بسعر أي مواطن وهذا الطفل بسعر أي طفل وعم يستثمروا بهالأمر وطالعوني أنا خاين أنا هذا كلام وإيش بيحكوه مردود عليهم لأسكات كل شيء كان عم يحكي وبلفق حكي على عمرون عمرون الحمد لله عايش بخير و وموفر له كل شيء وما هو بحاجه حدا لحدا يعني يبرك يحكي على عمران ووضع عمران وايش كان عمران وشلون تصوب عمران ومين اللي صوب عمران انا بالنسبه لل بدي اطلع لهالمناطق وهنيك ضمن الحصار انا فيني كان اغامر في حالي بس عائلتي ما فيني احطها بالمطمره ايه في اطفال صغار في ام يعني ما فيني احطهم بالمغامره وبجوز نخرج بجوز ما نخرج بجوز يرشونا يعني في كثير امور فلذلك تمنا يعني لوقت ما صار مجال طلعنا America. The freedom we took for granted is gone. But this spirit still lives in a country called America!
tell you what we're going to do today. We have constructed a mini election, uh, but Harry Hersey, as you have served as a technical advisor of how to do this, we're going to ask you to remain outside. After you, let me introduce you to my election staff. To ensure that we've not prepared some sort of a, a device that has been pre-rigged, pick the number and then we'll grab that unit and that will be the device that we will count the ballots on. I just feel like this is the one. Okay, and the winner is unit 15191. What we have here is a programmed optical scan ballot. Uh, there is only one question on this ballot. Can the votes on the Diebold system be hacked using the memory card? I have only touched the memory card, not the other parts of the Diebold election system, which is going to be used today. Only the memory card. And I, I, I can certainly speak for myself and Harry and that we're going to vote yes. All right, then let's have the rest of us vote no. Two individuals, okay. Hugh and Harry, will be voting yes. The rest of us will be voting no. And then we'll scrutinize the ballots afterwards to ensure that that is indeed the mark. I will say that I'm wrong and Diebold is right. And I'm going to say uh, no, they cannot be hacked. It's impossible. So I vote no. I'm going to film myself voting. Excuse me. I'm going to mark this ballot no. Okay. Dr. Thompson? I am going to bar this ballot yes. I've seen some pretty concerning things. Well, it's down to you. You're the last voter, Harry. All right. I think it could be. So I vote for yes. You will be the second yes. All right. I am here is the memory card I have touched. Okay. Now, this is the only piece of Diebold equipment that you've used. That's correct. Well, thank you. Let me take your ballot in. <laughs> this card will go into this slot. The next activity that the election worker does on the morning of the election is turn the machine on, making it live to receive votes. When you do that, this machine will produce what is called a zero total tape. The machine is going through a self-test analysis, and then it will spontaneously turn on. This is Harry's card that is telling us that there are zero votes stored in the memory. Okay, let me get the ballots. Let's insert a yes ballot. We're going to put in another no. Seven. And the last no ballot, eight. Placing the ender card in this device and telling it to turn off its counting function and do its reporting function will now cause the voting machine to print out a tape reading the number of votes that it had just read. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh, oh no. What is it? What is it? Seven yes, one no. Oh, oh my god. Here's the tape. Seven people said it could be hacked. But and we put through six and two. Six, six no's no. and two, <gasps> two yes. yeses. Oh my gosh, do you know what this means? How do we know that Hari didn't just change the report and the votes themselves on the memory card are still correct? If that was the case, when they go into GEMS, the results would be different, isn't that right? I mean, the only way to know that is to read them into GEMS and to check the vote totals. Let's see what Jim says. Should we do that? I think we should, because I want to confirm mm -hmm. for my own analysis 
is this just a superficial? Correct. Right. That's a good. That's a good question. Words, did we just change the words on this paper? And we will upload this memory card. If I had not seen what was behind this, um, I'd have no reason not to. I would have certified this election as a true and accurate result of a vote. secure and they're being called conspiracy theorists and technophobes and these vendors are lying and saying that everything's all right and it's not all right and I'm crying because heart it's I'll quote somebody that I know who said that our country is as though our country is one country pretending to be another country how can this be happening to our elections This really does affect me. I, I don't know exactly how to describe what, what I saw here. Um, I think we, as election officials, need to be a little bit more demanding from the vendors as to the technical specifications of this equipment. The vendors are driving the process of voting technology in the United States. I would much rather, at this point, I think, focus on allowing citizens to select technology that satisfies their needs. I'll be hated by people I don't even know, who don't understand why something was done. Just as all the kids growing up now don't have any idea of the difference between the symbol of Abraham Lincoln and what he actually stood for. You can't look at those eyes and not think of what being an American has meant. Now there's an end to it. Soon there will be no America. It will be history. Quickly lost and distorted like Mr. Lincoln himself. I don't know. I think of Jackie and Scott. We wanted to protect them. Maybe we were trying not to infect them with our ideas which seem to have gone so wrong. I suppose there will have to be new revolutions with new generations who will have to discover the values which our forefathers handed down to us. If those truths stop being real, maybe it's better to let them go. Let some new generation discover us, though, for the first time. Maybe freedom just one of those things you can't inherit. Time. The opportunity to survive. I guess I just never realized I'd gone so far. We had lost so much control. Totalitarianism doesn't need armies. It only needs to control a couple of things the media, and the ability to 
dispense privilege to some and withhold it from others. But of course, a weak and divided people helps. But of course, of course a weak and divided, divided people, people helps. helps. But of course, a weak and divided people helps. Every one of you knows that this election is a farce. You ladies and gentlemen of the press have been less than honest in reporting to the American people what's going on in this country. What's going on? 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 The principle of free press, America has allowed itself to be controlled by special interests and ultimately by a foreign power. What do you yes. say about the allegations the congressman has made about the elections being rigged by the Soviets? Let me answer you, Congressman. Are you afraid to confront the truth? I'm asking for the truth, Senator. I'm absolutely amazed that any American, let alone a candidate for the top office of the land, would have that kind of demoralized, defeated picture of this great country of ours. I mean, I travel across this country back and forth, and I see us on the verge of a wonderful, dynamic, productive future. Many of these ladies and gentlemen of the press have traveled with me. Have you seen any Russian troops? No. no. Well, hell, we've gone through the tough times, but we're coming out of them. I think I can uh, shed some light on that. Mr. Brown, yeah. come right up here, sir. I've been troubled by Congressman Milford's approach to this election. I think this election is one of the most important in this country's history. We're just beginning to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And for the first time, as far back as I can remember, I don't wake up every morning afraid that the world is going to be annihilated by nuclear war, whether intentionally or accidentally. What I wake up with is a faith in America restored, as strong as ever, not militarily, but spiritually. And I wonder who wants a weak and divided America, something which would come about through the same kind of campaign that Devin Milford is running, sowing seeds of doubt, of division. And I wonder who would think of this election as a chance to gain control which they do not already have. Let's get past the innuendos and talk about some facts. These are not innuendos, sir. I have proof. Proof of Where's the proof? Where's the proof? Where's the proof? Where's the proof?
I saw our picture on your shirt and wanted to say we love you. Be safe in Aleppo now. I'm going to sing a song about a square, and I want you to look all around your room for once. But remember, a square has four straight sides, and each side is just as long as the other, and it has four corners that are the same size. One. Two, three, four. There's a square out there. Can you guess the square? Do you think that you can find it? You must be aware of the shape of a square if you really want to find it. So look with care. For the shape of a square.
Thank you.